Hey everyone, this is Harjit here. I hope you're enjoying our Spark streaming series. Guys, if you have any feedback or if you have any suggestions to improve this series, please post it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to take it up. Uh, let's start with today's topic. Today's topic is uh, about uh, difference between stateless and stateful transformation. In Spark streaming, you can do two kinds of transformation. One is stateless. Another is stateful. Uh, let us understand what is stateless transformation. Stateless transformation are very simple. So uh, they are. Uh, you can think uh, it like this: that uh, uh, let us first understand what is stream. Um, from our pre previous video, I think you guys know that what is a stream. Stream is a continuous flow of RDDs. Uh, so there are new RDDs being generated at every batch interval. So here is one example, RDD1, RDD2, RDD3, RDD4, RDD5. So uh, stateless transformations are those transformations which you will apply on individual RDDs. To calculate the results of one RDD, you don't need any previous RDD. Like to calculate and process uh, RDD5, you don't need any information uh, uh, from RDD4 or RDD3 or RDD2. RDD5 records, all the records within RDD5 can be processed independently uh, from the RDD4, RDD3 and RDD2. So you don't need to store any state over a period of time to calculate the result. So that is stateless transformation, hence the name. Okay, now what is stateful? Okay, so these are the examples of uh, stateless transformation, map operation. So in map operation, you get a row, you process that row and output another row. So it's a typical example of stateless uh, operation. Filter is another stateless operation that you can apply on these streams. And map partitions is also another operation, uh, which is an example of stateless uh, transformation. So uh, there are other uh, examples also, but I have just listed these three. Now let us understand what is stateful transformation. Uh, in stateful transformation, uh, you would like to know some information from history, some information from the previous RDDs which you might have processed. Uh, here is an example. So I have taken an example of uh, uh, window operation. Uh, we had done a, a word count example uh, in one of our previous videos on uh, streaming data. So uh, imagine uh, you know, that word count example uh, was giving you count of words which it was getting as part of each RDD. Uh, count of words which uh, it was getting within that batch interval. Now imagine uh, your use case says that what was count of words in last one hour or what was count of words uh, uh, in last 30 minutes. In those scenarios you would like to know what were the uh, state what was the state and what was the count that i had processed in last uh, set of RDDs in last 30 minutes so you would like to store this information somewhere in these scenarios you would like to use stateful operations stateful and operations help you store some information from past so you can uh, there are multiple examples of stateful uh, operations like window operation reduced by key uh, and window and uh, you know uh, map with state operation there are a lot of uh, operations that are available in spark so here uh, you can see uh, we have an input stream coming in there are a lot of rdds rdd1 to rdd5 that are uh, generated now uh, if i have a window of six seconds suppose my batch interval is two seconds so every two seconds a new rdd is being generated and i have a window of six seconds so that means for every three three RDD, I need to group them into one, and uh, I can calculate results based on on all those three RDDs. Uh, so this window of three RDD is called, uh, uh, you know, our window, and uh, this window will change, keep on changing position uh, based on the sliding interval. So you can say every four second, move this window to next interval, next set of RDDs. So the position of this window will change after every four seconds. So, and uh, the length of this window is six seconds. So, whatever records, whatever RDDs have come in last six seconds, 
uh, will be uh, within that window. So two second, six second, four second. I have just taken to ex uh, explain the example, uh, but uh, you can change it. It these are completely configurable. Now these are some of the examples of stateful operation: map with state, update state by key, reduce by key and window. Guys, we are going to take. Uh, I'm going to make specific videos uh, on these operations. Uh, you know, as a dedicated video for all the uh, stateful kind of operation because they are very important. Uh, so this video was majorly for uh, understanding this uh, difference between stateless and stateful operations. So if this is not clear, please post comment in comment section. I'll be very happy to help you. Uh, in next video, we will focus on uh, doing Kafka and Spark integration. How you can uh, build uh, a Spark streaming application that listens to Kafka and process the records which are coming in from Kafka. Once we have done that, we'll get into uh, you know uh, uh, examples of stateful and stateless operations. I hope this video was useful. Uh, please share your comments uh, in comment section. Uh, I'll be very happy to answer your queries. Thanks for watching this video.